What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing another rad movie review. Today we're going to be talking about Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. I finally got a chance to check out this film. I actually had quite an enjoyable time with this movie. So let's get down to talking about it. Non-spoiler review, roll it. So, Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It is the eighth installment in the Conjuring franchise. This is definitely, like I said, as in terms of being the eighth film, it's fresh and it still offered me something interesting and I had a quite an enjoyable time with this film. So let's get down to talking about the positives of this movie. As for positives, of course, we have to talk about Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson being probably the key positives as Ed and Lorraine Warren. Just seeing them tackle a new supernatural mystery, it was fun seeing them dive into this new stuff, seeing them uncover a new mystery. I really am interested in every time they bring them into these films. Also, the lighting in this film and like some of the scenes and the way they shoot them and like the body horror kind of contortion stuff really did do a good aspect of setting the atmosphere for this film. And it really has, like I said, just a good vibe to it that I was enjoyed with and kept me intrigued throughout the film. And I really did like our antagonist character in this movie. To have somebody that's kind of like opposite of uh, Lorraine Warren like you know an antagonist that's going against them you know what I mean it was really cool to see that aspect it was something fresh something new that I really did like to see and like I said for being an eighth film as I was watching it I was totally prepared to be like down on this film and like oh this is not going to be good because we're really deep into these they're going to be losing ideas but like I said this one had a lot of cool fresh things very unique and I really did enjoy it and it kept me intrigued and like just my eyes on the screen as I was watching the film. We also have some good side characters, too, that really do a good job of assisting and building the world. John Noble as Father Kastner is probably one of the key side characters that his scenes are very powerful. He has very few scenes in the film, but his scenes, you, you pay attention to every word he speaks. Like, he has a very good presence on screen. So let's get down to talking about the negatives of this film. <laughs> So for me, one of the key negatives that I could think of right off the bat is that it's definitely the furthest from scary. I think out of all the ones in the franchise that we've gotten so far on the Conjuring universe, this is definitely the least scary in terms of jump scares or thrill rides like that. Like this one is not going to scare you at all, in my opinion. Also, the family characters in this film, the Glatzels, I, I didn't feel attached to them or care about them as much as I did for some of the family characters in previous films. So that was kind of a problem. Like, they just, it, we didn't really get to know them as much or dive into their characters. This one is kind of a, a lot shorter in runtime. So the pacing, it's like it kind of jumps from point to point so that's why this one it just feels like it kind of rushes through some spots and that was kind of a problem for me but overall in my book the conjuring the devil made me do it's gonna get a 7 out of 10 like I said I still had quite an enjoyable time with this film they had a good enough new ideas and new things to keep it fresh and interesting and as I said I do like Ed and Lorraine Warren Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga always bring it in these roles for sure so when they bring them back into the films I'm always interested to see what they tackle next and all that kind of stuff and like I said as far as negatives those were the things like this is definitely the least scariest of the films this is not going to scare you at all in terms of that but I definitely still do recommend checking this film out as I said in my book it's going to get a 7 out of 10 Thanks for sticking around with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this rad movie review. And if you haven't already, consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. I definitely appreciate it. All the support really helps out the channel. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.